Ciao. Ah. Hi, Anza. So today I'm going to be taking you into my kitchen and I'm going to be showing you how to make four different types of dog treats. The first three kinds of dog treats are really easy to make. Um, you can actually just make them in a food dehydrator or you can make them in an oven at a really low temperature. The fourth dog treat that I'm going to be showing you how to make is kind of like a peanut butter oatmeal cookie. You do have to bake it and make some applesauce and stuff like that. It is a little bit more intricate than the first three types of dog treats that I'm going to be showing you how to make today. My dog loves all three. I hope your dog loves them as much as my dog does. But yeah, let's get started. Let's hop into the kitchen and let's make our dog some treats. So I'm just going to start off by layering all of the chicken livers on the food dehydrator. So we're just going to lay them all out and try and make them as flat as possible so that they dehydrate nice and evenly. I definitely recommend wearing gloves if you're going to do this because it's kind of gross. And we're gonna add on our next layer. And we're just gonna keep filling up every single layer with the chicken livers. We're gonna put on our next layer. So now we're just going to put the lid on the food dehydrator. We're going to turn our food dehydrator on and we're going to make sure that it's set to the highest setting. And we're just going to leave it overnight. The next morning. So now that our chicken livers have been in the food dehydrator, they are fully dehydrated and ready to um, put into a bag. So that is that. For the second dog treat we're going to be making today, we are just going to take a uh, sweet potato, cut the ends off of it so they're nice and flat, and then we're going to take our mandolin slicer and we're going to just carefully slice these thin pieces of sweet potato. This blade is super sharp, so you want to be super, super careful that you don't get your fingers close to it. So we're just going to place our pieces of sweet potato all over the food dehydrator and make sure that they're nice and spread out a little bit. So we're just going to keep placing the sweet potato all over the dehydrating racks. Alrighty, so we're just gonna pop the lid on that and we have the food dehydrator set at our highest setting which is 160 degrees Fahrenheit. We're just gonna turn that on and leave it for a couple hours. Three hours later. So now our sweet potato chips are ready for our dog. So I'm just gonna take them all out of the dehydrator and chuck them into a bowl. For the next batch of dog treats we're going to do today, we're going to be using apples. Because the dogs can't eat the seeds of apples, they're super toxic to the dogs. We're just going to take our knife and chop the outer edges of the apple, making sure that none of the core and none of the seeds are on the apple that we're going to be using for our dog treats. We're going to do that to both of the apples. We're just going to take our cores and put them off to the side for now. And then we have our red up apples. So we're just going to take our mandolin and we have it on a thin setting. We're just going to go ahead and slice the pieces of apple. As you can see, the mandolin is at a nice thin setting. We're going to get nice thin pieces of apple. You just want to be really, really careful not to get your finger near. This, if your mandolin has a guard, make sure you use it. If you've lost your guard like I have, just use fork stabbed into the apple instead because you don't want to cut your finger off. It's so easy to cut yourself with these mandolins so you want to be really 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 careful. Just gonna put our pieces of apple off to the side and we're just gonna keep slicing our apple. Once you have this little nubby bit and it's too thin to keep slicing on the mandolin, we're just gonna put it off to the side because we can still cut that up. Thank you. 
Now just using a knife, we're just gonna take all of these small little bits of apple that we couldn't slice with the mandolin. We're just gonna carefully cut these little pieces of apple. And then whatever pieces are too awkward to cut, you can just eat. Now we're gonna pop our big pile of apples into the food dehydrator. So I'm just gonna start layering a bunch of the pieces of apple on the food dehydrator. And we're just gonna do a light sprinkle of cinnamon on the apples. We're just gonna keep doing that until the food dehydrator is all full. Now we're just gonna pop the lid on that bad boy. Crank it to our highest heat setting, which is 160 degrees Fahrenheit. And then we're gonna just turn it on and leave it here for a couple hours. Three hours later. Alrighty, so the apple chips are done. And we're just gonna start peeling them off and popping them into a bowl. So that is what our big bowl of apple chips looks like now that they are all dehydrated and ready to eat. So for our dog cookie, we're just gonna be needing a little bit of applesauce. So I'm just gonna be using up the rest of the apples that we didn't need for the apple chips, the ones that did fit in the food dehydrator. And I just have a little bit of cinnamon added to the apples with a little bit of water. And we're just gonna cook this until they get nice and soft and then we're gonna blend them up. So now that the apple is all cooked down, we're just going to dump it into the food processor to blend it all up and make our applesauce. All right. There you go, there we have our unsweetened applesauce ready for our dog. All right, so to start off by making the dog cookies, we're just gonna put our applesauce, some peanut butter, and four chia eggs into the mixer. We're just gonna mix that up. So now we're gonna add in some flour and some oatmeal. And we're just gonna mix that up. Oh, perfect. This dog cookie dough batter is filled with lots of seeds and lots of oats and there's lots of peanut butter and chunks of apple in here so it's really really healthy for your dog. So um, I'm just going to scrape the bowl and then we're going to get ready to roll them out. So we got some flour on our work surface, we're just going to put the cookie dough, we're just going to pat it down, just make sure that the cookie dough doesn't stick to the table. Just going to roll it out so it's a little bit thinner. And now, just gonna take some cookie cutters and cut out the shapes of the cookies. And I'm just gonna put them on a baking tray. This is what the dog cookies look like before we put them in the oven. So I'm just gonna pop those in the oven for about 10 minutes. A few minutes later. Alrighty, so our cookies are out of the oven. We have our little dog cookies, dog bones, and the little heart-shaped cookies. So they're really easy to make, they're actually really fast to make. I love them because you know exactly what's going with the dog treats because you're making them by yourself. If you have a dog like mine, your dog suffers from horrible allergies and there's a million things that your dogs can't eat. So I really like these dog treats because my dog isn't allergic to any of them. Because I make them myself, there's no waste with the packaging, which is really nice. The third reason I love these dog treats is that they're super pocket friendly. You can treat your dog to some really awesome dog treats on a budget, which is really great. Um, a lot of these ingredients 
you can actually eat yourself so you might even have them laying around your house already which is kind of nice you might you might not even need to leave to go to the grocery store so yeah I love making these dog treats because they're super easy to make they're really cheap to make my dog loves them um, and he's not allergic to them which is really nice um, I find it really hard to find dog treats or even kibble that my dog's not allergic to because he has so many allergies I hope you guys found those recipes really helpful um, I hope you try them out and I hope your dog loves them as much as my dog does all right trouble Gentle, gentle. You excited? You excited to try a liver treat, Chubby? Gentle. Oh, good boy. So, how do you feel about the liver treats? Um, if you guys want to see more videos like this, make sure you subscribe to my channel. I'll be posting a lot more content like this. Videos for dogs, videos for people. I'm going to test out some crazy kitchen gadgets. So, so if you guys want to see videos like that, make sure you stay tuned and subscribe to my channel. hope you try these recipes and I hope your dog loves them as much as my dog does. Thank you so much for watching. So speaking of budget friendly and trying to be conscious of the waste that we produce and our impact on the environment, I want to talk about a clothing company that I have been supporting for a while. So Point Blank Apparel is a clothing company located in British Columbia. They make a lot of really cool products. Their products are made out of eco-friendly water-based inks. They are super soft. They're made from really high quality material. Have this outfit for chilling in. They ship using recycled materials, which I think is really, really cool. They also make a lot of cuter stuff, like they make bodysuits, they make dresses, make stuff for guys too. They make some really cute mom jeans. I've worn a lot of clothes from eco-friendly eco brands, and I find that the quality of these clothes are really good after you wash them a few times. Like, the strings aren't falling apart. Like, I find that the t-shirts get softer the more you wash them. The hat is really cute. It's like a great dad hat if you're just like, you know, going out and you just want to throw something on. I love that they have it in pink. I think that's super cute. And it also says save our shores which I think is a really important message. This company donates part of their proceeds to um, a cleanup charity for ocean, river, and lake conservation which is really cool. We have to be conscious on our impact on the environment and the clothes that we wear do definitely have an impact on the environment. Everything that we do has an impact on the environment. So check them out if you want to update your wardrobe with some eco-friendly materials. I'll leave a link for the website in the description box below if you want to check them out. If you decide to order anything from their website you can actually use a discount code Sammy K20 at checkout to receive 20% off your order it can help a little bit with the cost of shipping having a little bit of a discount is really nice I know after Christmas time sometimes budgets are a little bit tight definitely check out pointblankapparel.ca again I'll leave the link and the coupon code in the description box below if you decide that you want to buy anything this video is not sponsored by them at all I just think that it is a super dope company thank you so much for watching I really appreciate it